Today we have with us Honorable Anwar Ul Haq Kakar, the spokesperson for the government of Balochistan. Mr. Anwar, it's a pleasure to have you with us today. Um, my first question is um, can you please explain where the Balochistan region is located and the political actors that operate within Balochistan, including the ethnic background? Thank you for having me. Uh, Balochistan is the western part of uh, Pakistan. Uh, it's the largest province in terms of uh, land mass uh, with the least population in the country. We are around uh, 7 million people in the whole of the province, which by the standards of Pakistan is big love. Uh, we've got multiple political factors and parties over there. Uh, which in Pakistani context is that there are pro-federation political parties like PMLN, which is the single largest party at the moment in the provincial assembly. And then you have PPP and then you have JUI, Fazlur Rahman, which is again a very huge uh, religious political party. Along with that, then we have got ethnic-based political groups like Bakhtul Khwadri Awami Party from Pashtun ethnic background, and BLP Manual from Baloch ethnic background, National Party again from mostly from Baloch ethnic background. And the ethnography of the province, I would uh, categorize it that there are two major groups uh, politically. One is Baloch followed by the Pashtuns. Uh, Quetta is in a way uh, like, which is a capital city, is the dividing line between the two ethnic groups. On the south of it lies the Pashtun and on the other hand lies the Baloch ethnic group. Along with them, there is a huge uh, population which is described as settlers. Uh, they are the people who came uh, in the late 18th century when all the colonial development started, particularly the railways and cantonments. And they came with the British as the uh, mundane workers. And they settled there uh, for almost 100 years plus. Uh, they are the kind of people who would speak uh, different languages, Punjabi, Urdu, Hindko, and uh, uh, they have adopted that as home. Uh, along with them, there is another uh, distinct group which came from Afghanistan and they are known as Hazaras. Uh, the Hazaras uh, had a history of persecution at the hand of Amir Abdul Rahman of Afghanistan. Mm -hmm and they in mass migrated towards the site of Quetta and they settled there. So they are almost there for all, what, a hundred years and they have also adopted that as a home and the ethnography of Balochistan could be described in these four major groups. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. And. Um, what, um, in your opinion, what would be um, the impact of a possible independent Balochistan to Pakistan and other countries in the region such as India, Iran and Afghanistan and if um, the Balochistanian people rights are being protected in the Pakistani legal framework? Uh, to be honest with you, uh, politics is out of possibilities. Uh, I do not see uh, independent so-called Balochistan as a viable option uh, for the people in the region. Uh, there are so many reasons for that. Uh, Baloch ethnic group is overall uh, probably 2% of the entire uh, Pakistani population. And amongst those 2%, probably 5% of uh, the Baloch ethnic group which would categorize in wholesome Pakistan situation something 0.0005%. Uh, they have this idea of having a so-called independent state or country. Uh, you need to have a mass support behind uh, such political claims. And mass support along with uh, a viable options of a statehood. Uh, statehood has so many elements which is lacking here. In this particular case, Baloch as an ethnic group uh, in the whole of the region, they lie in Iran, they lie in Afghanistan, they are in the uh, province of Balochistan and, and other provinces of Pakistan too. 
the best political deal they had, even historically, has been ironically in the case of Pakistan. Uh, we had uh, powerful presidents like President Lavari, who is a blue-blooded Baloch. We had a prime minister like uh, Malakshir Mazari, who is again a blue-blooded Baloch. Uh, since 1971, uh, when the province was created, the Balochistan, uh, its chief minister, who happens to be the chief executive of the province, has always been a Baloch. It has been an undeclared uh, principle. It's a sort of a convention with the province, within the province. Uh, that no non Baloch can, can become the chief executive. So they have their political representation, they have their economic rights secured, they have got all the uh, forums available to them constitutionally where they are not underrepresented but rather at times uh, there are people who would comment that they are overrepresented. So I do not see uh, that uh, one can have a better deal outside the framework of Pakistan for the Baloch ethnic group. Mm. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Thank Anwar. You. And um, it's been a pleasure um, to listen your remarks on Balochistan and Pakistan. And uh, I think that's all for today. And um, thank you very much. Thank you for having me.